Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect 2. Nice. I'm gonna yeah. back away slowly. Why does this feel so sketchy? Like, this feels like something's about to happen. Okay, my first thought is Jack is hot. <laughs> All right, everybody. So lots of you gave me some advice for upgrades and things. My original plan was to just get all the stuff for the ship and save the gun upgrades, but you guys said, no, do the gun upgrades because trust us, you'll need them. So, oh, these are the upgrades I already have. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Also, Take a seat, bend an ear. We're about to have real talk with Lightweight Gaming. Wow, I just lost my train of thought. Hold on. <laughs> um, okay, lots of new people here with this series, which has been awesome, and I'm so happy to have you all. But, and yes, there's a but. My channel name is Lightweight Gaming. So I just like to reiterate what that means, okay? Lightweight gaming, the reason I named that for my channel name is because I'm really not great at games. I, I do good work sometimes. I'm entertaining if I do say so myself, sometimes. <laughs> but my channel name is Lightweight Gaming for a reason. I do my best, I do my best. But I'm gonna make mistakes. This is not going to be a perfect playthrough. It's just not. It's my first playthrough. So, uh, I'm not even going to say sorry that it's not going to be perfect because it's my first playthrough and I'm going to make mistakes and that's the beauty of playing games for the first time. Isn't that why you like to watch people play games for the first time, right? That's why I like to watch people play games for the first time so I can laugh when they make silly mistakes. So I'm going to keep making mistakes. So I just need to remind some of you of that because I think some of you have forgotten. And I'd also like to remind you <clears throat> that it's okay if this playthrough isn't for you. It's okay. You don't have to watch it, I promise. <laughs> I really love that you guys do watch it, and I'm so happy that most of you are enjoying it and are having a lot of fun with it. But I think some of you just need to remember that my playthrough, my first playthrough, is not going to be perfect. And if you want a perfect playthrough, you can achieve that by playing it yourself or watching a channel that's not titled Lightweight Gaming. Okay? Okay. Appreciate you all. <laughs> and I do appreciate the tips. This is not saying don't help me because I do want your help. But when you legitimately are seeming mad at me because I'm forgetting to talk to people or, you know, doing things in a different order than you wanted, let's just take some, what I say to Baby Light is take belly breaths. And I have to remind myself of that too. Um, so let's all take some belly breaths before we type angry comments, okay? and just realize lightweight gaming. Because I'm a lightweight gamer. And this is my first playthrough and this game is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And I promise I'm doing the best I can. I promise, I promise I'm not intentionally killing your brain cells as somebody told me. <laughs> I'm killing my own brain cells by frying my hair, okay? I'm not trying to kill yours. I'm doing the best I can. I'm genuinely having fun with this. But sometimes, some of the comments make me not have fun with this, if I'm being honest. I wanted to keep this lighthearted, but now I'm going to get emotional. And that was not my intention. <laughs> this game is so much fun, I'm having so much fun with it, but some of you just really please. <laughs> okay? That's all I'm going to say. Anyways. So please, continue to leave me tips and advice in a nice manner. It's just, kindness goes a lot further than being a dickwad. The end. Let's get back to the fun now. Weapon upgrades. Okay, one of five. So I can get five of these total, or do I get to choose one through five? I can get five of them total. Research submachine. Iridium. Yeah, I got, I got enough of that. Now I'm like all hunched over because I'm feeling embarrassed for having real talk for a moment, which is silly. Okay. Do those just auto attach to... Uh... This goes to my squad, right?
Hmm, I don't know. Okay, metagel capacity. We're gonna get that as high as we can. Although, that's the other thing you guys, <laughs> you guys taught me, is you don't use metagel to heal like you do in the last game. That is just for getting downed enemies back up again. Or down, downed enemies. No, we don't want to get downed enemies down. Wait. Ugh. We don't want to get downed enemies up. We want to get our companions up. Okay, tech damage. Also, thank you to those of you who pointed out that um, Grunt and Morden did give me upgrades. They were just not ship upgrades. Appreciate that as well. I'm just going ham on these. Uh, yeah. I feel like we should get that first. What am I even? I'm, just, I'm not even reading these. I'm just doing them. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the med grade, med bay upgrade. If I'm when being honest, a couple of you explained it's just exactly what I thought in the last video. It's just cosmetic, like getting my scars to go away and doing paragon options is kind of doing that anyways. And I don't care if she's got a couple badass scars. So even if they don't go away, I don't care. I just don't know, like for the armors, I... I have not read through these yet, so I'm not going to do those because I don't know what I want. Heavy weapon ammo upgrade. Um, yeah, I really need to do some um, surveying of planets off camera. I just have not had time. This is just for a new gun. Probably seems like a good thing to have. We might not ever use it, but I... Oh, Morden's Omni-Tool. Definitely, that's what I want. 20% tech damage. Yes. Yes. Okay, so then these are... Ah, shit. Damn. Damn. I thought these were grayed out because I got them. They're grayed out because I can't do them. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We'll work on those. Um, also, you reminded me I just completely forgot the yep. investigate Where option here for Morden. Because I did the upgrades, I think, and then it bounced me back, you know? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Wait, no, I did this. You guys told me I didn't do this. I did this. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples, more collector data, you tissue lied. samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. We'll be here if you need me. Shepard, how can I help? Did I just forget this one? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware no, of? No, I did this one too. You guys personnel. had oh, me convinced I didn't do this. <laughs> what did I not do with Morden? Shepard, how can I help? I did that. I want to talk about you, didn't I? Have you got a minute to talk? I did Perhaps this later, one. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. I did not Anything do that else? one. <laughs> I did not do that one. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's what you meant that I forgot. I'll let you work. We'll be here I'll, I'll let you treat that. We don't need Varen sexually transmitted diseases on board. Okay. Don't need to go there. Um... I don't know which one of these is better. Oh, I think I just got this eviscerator shotgun. Modern firearm shave off chips or pellets from ammunition block the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor piercing capabilities as tight regrouping helps wound ballistics out. Wound ballistics out under. <laughs> I can read. Um. <laughs> this design also violates several intergalactic weapons treaties. Sounds perfect for Grunt to have. Perfect. Let's put the new shotgun on anybody who can take it. I 
I feel like the bottom one is the better option, but I really don't know. So. It seems like it would be a progression, you know? Okay, you guys also told me that I cannot actually romance Kelly, so I can flirt away. Hello, Kelly. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Um, let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, thanks, Kelly, but no flirting. Okay, but see, this is where I get confused. And I know you guys have explained this to me like a freaking million times. I understand this. That's probably why some of you feel like I'm killing your brain cells. Because you're probably face palming so hard right now. But listen, you're not in person to explain it to me, okay? Y'all tell me I need to do investigate every time. But this is where I get confused because these are always the same. These are always, they should be different. <laughs> if, if she's gonna say different things, they should have different texts, damn it. <laughs> okay? My fried mother of an almost two-year-old brain cannot, it's just, I can't. And I hate that I have to click into these and just see if it's randomly different dialogue. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or if any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for yes, a Yes, but everyone knows how risky our mission is. Like I already did technology. all of this. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. So should I keep doing all of Like I just don't. Is it different because this is Kelly? How do you feel about being You guys said I can make her like me so she'll feed my fish. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This organization has not at all. But we already we did these. Advanced human technology. That'll safe. be all. All right, Kelly, shut up. <laughs> ah, I hate that. It's a gripe I have. Why am I even going right now? What am I even doing? Just what is happening? My brain is just, I can't today. <sighs> oh, I think I was saving up for this. Evolves Assault Mastery into one of the following options. Destroyer. Further increases weapon damage and gives a damage bonus to powers. Champion. Further reduces power recharging time and increases power duration. And Paragon and Renegade scores. Shit, I feel like a couple of you told me. A recommendation. I almost just said recommendation. Because when I was in Germany, we had this amazing waiter who was like our best friend by the end of our dining experience. And he was speaking English, which was obviously not his native language because he lives in Germany. His English is great, but he always said recommendation instead of recommendation. And now my family says recommendation because we freaking loved it so much. But now when I'm having real conversations, I almost say it in <laughs> real conversations. <laughs> oh man, he was our favorite. Okay, anyways. I think I'm gonna go, go champion. How do I choose? Oh, it gives me the option. Okay. Destroy your weapon inflicts even more damage, and you receive a damage bonus to biotic powers. Plus 15% health, weapon damage, worse recharge time, plus 70% paragon renegade, plus 15% power damage. Your staying power lets you survive marathons of combat. Power recharging time and Paragon and Renegade scores are improved still further, and you receive a bonus to biotic power duration, so 20% health, 9% weapon damage, minus 15% recharge time, 100% Paragon Renegade. I think I'm gonna go champion. Powerful. Haha, <laughs> I'm powerful. Okay, anyways. Sorry. <laughs> you can cringe, it's fine. Okay. Um, so 
I have the convict. I don't know if I should do some side missions first. I feel like I should do some side missions before I continue with the main story. And if you don't like that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the server station on the planet Aite, Typhon system, Phoenix massing, has gone off the grid. The Elusive Man has requested assistance in investigating the situation. A lost Cerber Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an eclipse base on planet Loric. The operative may have sensitive data that, if lost to eclipse, could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. An eclipse, eclipse smuggling depot has been detected on planet Deratar. Cerberus pay very good money for any cargo recovered from the site. I think I'm feeling this one. Aite, Typhon System, Phoenix Massing. Aite, Typhus, Phoenix. Uh. I forgot what I was doing for a second. Wait! Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega 4 relay. Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I meant to go here. <laughs> ah, okay. Phoenix massing. I love how they have the little like underneath it, so I don't have to memorize it like I did in the first game. Although it's already been twenty minutes, I've literally done nothing. Um, I could go here. Because the smuggled cargo and their convict are in the same spot. I think I'm going to do that. I wanted to do the side stuff first, but now I'm second guessing that. And this is why, ugh. Never mind. <laughs> Keeping that thought to myself. I just want to get the names on these. I feel like I'm second guessing every decision now. <laughs> That's not fun. I think I'm gonna do the convict. And just hope that it doesn't lock me out of the side stuff. And I'm gonna. I think take a minute and get out of my freaking head. <sighs> um, I don't know if it matters who I bring. Looking at the the notes you guys have given me. I don't know if it matters, but should I? So. I don't... I need to build up loyalty with everybody. Um, I haven't worked with Morden yet. I don't really know what his ability is going to be like, so I don't know if this is a good time to try with Morden. Maybe I should have done side stuff with him first, just to see what he's like. What's his info? He's normal loyalty. Oh, that's nice that it tells you right there. Incinerate. 
Cryoblast Neuroshock. Submachine guns, heavy pistols. Loyalty normal. Gary should have started higher than that. Normal. Normal. No, fuck. <laughs> loyal! Yay! <laughs> oh, we got one loyal. Okay. Pull an incendiary ammo. So she is techie techie. He is... I think I'm gonna go... I don't know why those two. I just feel like Morden is tech and... Garrus is not. I don't know if it even really matters since I'm playing on normal. Alright. Maxing that out. That's how I always start. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> That's how I want to start this. So I'm saving up for the others. Okay, Solarian Genius. Morden's technical breakthroughs further increase the strength of his shields. Health 25%, weapon damage 18%, shields 25%. Morden's study of ballistics, physics, and shock trauma increases his weapon damage. Health 25, weapons 25, shields 18. I think I'm gonna go with Solarian Genius. I think I would prefer, because if he's gonna be more tech, well, Incinerate and Cryoblast, aren't those weapons abilities? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna wait on that because I don't I don't even know what he his <sighs> I wanna see what his like guns versus tech abilities are. This explosive plasma blast inflicts damage over time to nearby enemies and permanently stops their health regeneration. So this sounds like tech abilities. I, I thought incinerate and cryo blast would be bullets. But these are omni tools. So I well okay. Probably should have done that, but it's fine. Overload would be good to have. Oh, I did have I did have this up. I just didn't get to choose what he was. All right. curious to see how they interact with each other. That looked like a force field. <laughs> I don't know why, but it looked like there was a force field there. Do you see it? I'm like, wait, can I walk through this? Maybe I should just save before I do anything. Welcome to the purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. <laughs> the stare Let down. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Mm. 
Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. That feels like foreshadowing. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong here. Definitely foreshadowing. You tell me about Jack. Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. When he looks straightforward, it looks like he has a human neck. <laughs> Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world. They blackmail him. An unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. Well, there you, you go. That's a better term. With my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Suppose escape attempts are minimal in number. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control that was cool. the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Why does this feel so sketchy? Like, this feels like something's about to happen. And I don't know why. There have just been too many things I feel like foreshadowing. Inhumane. Unacceptable. Violation of basic organic dignity. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? No, what's the point Stop of that? This. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. God damn. Hey. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. I'm gonna save this. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. <laughs> Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you got to watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Oh! And you're in a little cell. Oh. oh God, that's gotta smell so bad. Oh. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people, only about twenty or so, and I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Only 20? 
thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offered someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. Yep. That's pretty common, I think. I should go. Wish I could go. Well, you shouldn't have killed 20 people and blown up a habitat. Sorry it sucks for you here, but also don't murder people. <laughs> Unless you're Shepard. <laughs> then you can murder whoever you want. <laughs> I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Gonna yeah. back away slowly. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Why is there blood? open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Enemies inbound. to take cover. Oh. I swear I tried A before. <laughs> Can't get a lock. All right. Let's try Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh wait, actually? Okay, I'm trying to- I want to map them so I can actually use them with just the buttons, but... <laughs> It's a habit, I think, after the first one to just go into the wheel. Now he's dead. <laughs> Just kidding. powers cooldown is linked so it's not like the last game where oh my god 
Shit. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but I was, I was there. <laughs> There's nowhere I could go. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, all the way back here. That's just rude. Especially because I tried to save and I couldn't. Can I skip this? Go to hell. I'll send you to my systems. Oh, I didn't mean to say that, but I'm kind of glad I did. Not gonna lie. All right, let's get this gun out. We're gonna have to see if I'm close enough. I don't think I am. Oh, I am. Nice. Uh, let's do that again. Really like that. There we go. There we go. Killed that one. <laughs> Good job, Morton. Down. Okay, shields, come on. Reinforce those processing. Shepard is loose. Need to reduce the fire. I get to kill that guy. Shepherd, okay, good at saving. That control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. Is Jack is hot. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Anyways. Warning. Warning. They're attacking Jack. This should come in handy. Lethal force not authorized then? Sectors 7, Jesus. 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Um, Jack? That might be a little excessive! <laughs> ah. All prisoners, return to your cells immediately, or I'll open every airlock on this ship! No, you won't. You lose too much money.
All right, I can do that. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to charge. Oh, shit, okay. I don't want to do that either. Can I just cancel that? <gasps> we are not charging that thing. Holy shit. What I would like to use is one of my abilities that I can't use! <laughs> I don't like that the whole screen shakes like that. Let's make him in guard got sick. Prisoners with improvised weapons. You never had a chance. It shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Prisoners helpless. Guard had power. Perhaps abused it. Violence here could be retribution. Yeah, it's kind of like the chicken or the egg, right? Obviously, these are very dangerous criminals, which is why they're here in the first place. So that part is not part of the equation. But is this violence because of the violence they received and the inhumane treatment they received here? You know what I mean? Oh my god, I didn't even look at what I'm looking for. White, orange, blue. Okay, orange, white, orange, blue. In a kind of block pattern. Green. Excuse me, I just burped right in the microphone. Classy lady. Can I save now? I literally just saved. I don't know. I needed to do that again. Open ammo. Okay, never mind. You did it for me. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Why does the screen have to go black? Enemies oh! Okay, wait. God damn it. Oh, and he wasn't even close enough to anybody. <laughs> what a waste. One less to worry about. Who are we attacking over here? How'd you get up there? Snuck by me. do that because he was on the other side so I just like, right through the other side fucking a. damn <laughs> okay let's get that going <laughs> Morden is awesome Hate 12, it. 14, and 30. 
Yes, I'm gonna say it every freaking time. Okay, we're gonna do this better this time. Oh yeah, we are. Oh yeah, we are. It's amazing how much better you do when you know what to expect. Just a total whiff. Oops. We're gonna get the high ground this time. This is fucking intense. Should do the trick. Jesus, again? God damn! Just burn through any armor. <sighs> okay, I, I didn't think that was gonna hit them. I was questioning it. I'm glad I tried it. Was that stupid mech thing was down, but that mech was crazy. All that money he's losing. Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Yes, that's why you sell them to the highest bidder. Because it's for the good of the freaking galaxy. Why can't I shoot? What the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna try this whole this whole pull thing. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Maybe I 
actually get up there to shoot that. I feel like it was doing more damage when I was shooting the actual part right there. Okay, now we're gonna run this way. Oh god, that's like the big guy. I'm about to die again. Stop! <gasps> oh, that's not the big guy. That was just a dude doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. I don't want to charge. Oh my god, where are you coming from? I'm flanking. I don't know if that's really going to do anything, but we're going to try it. on fire it just works so well Jack wait Jack's tattoos are really freaking cool. What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. <laughs> he was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're so I just gross. killed all these motherfuckers. And you have the gall to say that to me right now? Offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Shepard's combat ability impressive. Determination equally impressive. Enemies don't last long. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> this ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> You're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. You don't have to bargain. What does that even mean? Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Listen, I'm not on Cerberus' side. <laughs> I don't give a shit what you look at. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Jack is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> Which is probably the point. All right, recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to re reverse credit transfer. May have to take step steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. Not gonna lie, I like the sound of that. Um, damage protection, shield upgrade, 10% to shields, barriers, and armors. This comprehensive system upgrade offers improved protection for all squad members, regardless of team members' individual defensive strategies. Weapon upgrade to shotgun damage, 10% improve shotgun, heavy shotgun, and assault shotguns for your entire squad. Credits and element zero. The convict. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. 
I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. There's just a lot of really hot women in this room, and I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> just... Whew! All right, anyways. Uh, okay, let's go talk to people and not miss dialogue options. Um, you guys said that I can look at the map and it will give me indications for where people are? Or something like that? I don't see that, but that doesn't really mean I'm missing it. Or, that doesn't mean it's not there. It means I'm missing it. <laughs> How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're... Anything okay, else, Commander? Okay, got that one already. What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah, unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? Okay, so that was his way of saying, don't progress any further, increase loyalty. <laughs> I understand you made quite an impact. Like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. It took us the whole Got that one already, hushed, got that one already. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I don't want to talk about you and flirt with you. <sighs> I'm more interested in just talking. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. Your vote, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. I don't see. I hate that. <laughs> you sound hesitant, Jacob. You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I didn't mean to skip that. Sorry. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda worked together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Oh shit! Alright! <laughs> Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like saying this one partially because, like, if there's going to be drama on board, I feel like I need to know. But also, he's right. It's not really my business. And they haven't had any drama. They've been working fine together. So I think I'm just going to drop it. Dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. <laughs> Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Okay, I feel like I successfully navigated that without flirting with him. I, I feel like that went well. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, have done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Okay, got that one. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue got that samples. One. Anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. 
Are there any medical concerns I should be aware Cerberus of? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate Okay. Mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. What? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. I feel like that's good news, because weren't they going extinct? I know that they were a threat. But I don't feel like they are a threat anymore, so I feel like that's good news. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Now God, I said that one. Viewpoint. Krogan, <gasps> too dangerous to allow unchecked birth. Martin. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Martin! You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population. Avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger. A averted potential genocide. Or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole. <laughs> violent. splitting hairs. Still. Have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. I don't understand what that means. <sighs> uh, see, now... He definitely didn't do the right thing. I don't agree with that. What he did was wrong. This might be stupid of me, but I want him to be my friend, and I don't want to say this and piss him off. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay neutral on this one and say thank you for telling me. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Okay, so I think I'm good there. Let's see if I can investigate anything new. I need... Oops. Yeah, I need resources. So, even if we got something new, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I think... I think I'm getting a handle on... Oops, I should just go this way. Sorry, door. Excuse me. <laughs> getting a handle on... Talking to people... Finally. Maybe. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. 
I have concerns with her temper, though. Well, obviously. <laughs> you have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? I figure if she gets pissed off, she's gonna destroy the ship and we're all dead anyways. <laughs> do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay, I don't, I think for her, that's always gonna stay the same. I better go. Okay. Wait, shit, Maybe I wasn't done yet though. Hold on. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? But see, uh, you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned? I was handpicked by the elusive. How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need I didn't know Kelly confuses me. You in the debriefing room, Commander. What? Things are quiet again. Fuck. I always want to click A so I can read it. Okay. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. Yay! Um, okay. Sandwich! Hear what these ones have to say today. Are, are you okay? Okay. Good talk. Don't have anybody there yet. There you are. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. <laughs> not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Thank you for um, telling me to keep doing those, because I definitely thought that that was just like, Kind of the same type of dialogue as the as the crew when I walked into that room. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Hmm. How may I help you, Commander? There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Okay. 
What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down... Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okay. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. <laughs> talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here. Why don't you want to talk to me? You're breaking my heart, Garrus. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties? I'm the elusive you? man's agent. You're his most important asset. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. The fuck? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Nobody wants to be my friend. I feel like Jack might be down here. There had to be a bed down here for some reason. I knew it! Hey. Hey, Jack. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Nice! So that would be a prototype? This one. Uh, yeah. Cool. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Jack. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. We'll see if we can change that by the end. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I mean... Ooh. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. That's I a cool shot. It. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. 
When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I really should go. All right. She's an interesting character, for sure. I have no idea if what I said was good or bad. Um... How's trash compacting going, Said? Back for another lesson. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. They would get along. A destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. <laughs> if it suits him. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. See ya. <laughs> I just love running down that hallway with every door opening up on the way. Uh, we're gonna save. Shepard. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources mm, we found? Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. What did he give me? Shepherd. Why doesn't his upgrades go away? What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did O'Kir give you any imprints I about the blurry. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. Nobody wants to talk to me! That's all for now. Not even my son! Oh, she's prepping for when Baby Light thinks she's too cool for me. It's gonna be a sad day, man. A sad day indeed. Okay, so I did... I did Jacob and Morden first. I did Miranda. I did Kasumi and Zaid. I did Jack. I did Grunt. I did Kelly. I did Dr. Chakwas. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh shit, I didn't do Joker. Fuck. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. <laughs> hold so much crazy. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. 
You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. <laughs> That's it? You both shut up. Um... I think I want to say this. What is this, high school? Both of you, find something better to do with your time. Of course, Shepard. <laughs> it is a minor issue. With a nuclear response. Joker. Shutting up now, Commander. <laughs> okay. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> like children. I think... Sorry, it's been a really long video, but I think I'm gonna talk to. Wasn't there? I thought Kelly said somebody wanted to talk to me. I think I'll do that next video because I don't want to actually like, start something right now. Uh, but two upgrade points: cryo ammo, flashbang grenade. I think I'm gonna save these so that I can. Upgrade one of these. All right, guys. So I'm gonna stop there. Um, I think I did better with talking to people, but I'm not sure. Every time I feel like I'm doing a good job, you guys tell me I'm not, in fact, doing a good job with that. So uh, I guess you will let me know in the comments how I do with that. But I feel like I did better talking to people this time, um, and I think I successfully navigated not flirting with anybody. I'm also wondering now if the reason a lot of them are like check back later is because um, I think Kelly told me that the elusive man wanted to talk to me so I wonder if the mission's not actually done yet I know I got that mission end summary but maybe because I have to talk to the elusive man maybe it's like not triggering that they want to talk to me I don't know um, so maybe I'll talk to the elusive man first next video just to kind of see what that is and then hopefully that won't like lock me into a mission but I guess we'll see uh, and unfortunately I will be recording the next video before this one goes up so I can't wait to see what you guys have to say so um, maybe that's the updated game plan. Talk to the elusive man and then do assignments from there because hopefully that's just like an actual conversation, not something that will lock me into a mission. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, and then if you have any tips or advice for Morden's like level four ability, uh, I forget what they were called now. It was like the one for his powers, the one for his weapons. I'm leaning towards the one for his shield and powers versus his guns. Um, but let me know your feedback in the comments. I have a feeling like it's probably going to be across the board, but hopefully there's one that people, more people like than the other. Um, Cause like I said, I think at this point I'm leaning towards the shield increase for Morden, um, but I haven't really worked with him long enough to know which one that I should do. So that's my thoughts now. So if you um, wouldn't mind giving me uh, your suggestion there that would be great and I think that's everything I kind of already talked about Jack she seems really cool obviously a little bit crazy she's been through a lot clearly um, has a lot of trauma I think she's a really cool character I don't know where it's gonna go though with her it's definitely gonna be one of those things where it's like balancing a tightrope where I need to keep her in check but also don't want to piss her off <laughs> um, so like being like, no, you can't murder those innocent people, but also like, listen, do what you need to do in terms of like getting justice for what happened to you. So that's gonna be interesting. And I have no idea if I said the right things to her last time or not. <laughs> so I guess we'll see, uh, but her character is definitely interesting and I can't wait to actually bring her out into the field because I don't have anybody, I guess Miranda is kind of um, super biotic like that, so. She'd probably be pretty close to Miranda's feel. Um, but I'm also more so just excited to see how she interacts with things and how she interacts with my other crewmates when I bring her on missions. So that would be cool. Um, I think that's everything. I think so. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.